Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 41 of Crusader Kings 2. Before I start, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter Gamer Cowboy for sponsoring this entire series. Thank you very much. We are in a colossal war at the moment, mainly because of me trying to revoke a province from somewhere, which ended up in a very powerful vassal telling me to go and stuff myself, and as a result, uh, he declared independence, and yeah. It's all gone to hell in a handbasket. So we're going to deal with that first of all by sieging out his stuff. We're already at 47%. It shouldn't be a particularly long um, war. Uh, important decisions are available. We need a new court position. Let's go ahead and work on that. So we just have some quite big armies, which is problematic. Um, you are a gardener. You are a rudite, just temperate. Yeah, you'll do, I, I guess. Um, okay, that's fine. So we've got a random child, but nobody knows it's ours, so that's okay. Uh, got a victory here. Right, let's go ahead and attack that army again. We're already at 58% war score. So if we can just keep flattening his army down... Probably be enough for us to uh, to win this war. There's 84%. Where are you heading? Looks like this way. We can siege this out as well. Should be relatively quick. That's put us on 90%. Both armies are trying to move into there. I can't let them re-siege it, so we do have to chase the armies around a little bit. 100% actually, so we'll instantly go and off the piece. There we go. We've got the province back that we wanted. So let's just step down. I wish there was one. There probably is. No, I can't see one. I, w I wish there was a button you could press just to resign all the commanders from the army. That would make life a lot easier. Um, so we've got that back. This is now... This should be ours. All right, he's been arrested. There we go. So now we can revoke the title. So we revoke this title. And our domain is too big, but we have an unlanded son, so we grant you a landed title, and we give you that one. There we go. That's a couple of problems sorted out. We can press ducal claims for this province here, but we do have a um, non-aggression pact with you, which is annoying. Now, what about this? You are this woman who we have a non-aggression pact with because of what now? Uh, a marriage between a prince and a princess. Right, my daughter is marrying your son. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All of these stupid non-aggression packs. I should have been paying more attention who I was getting married off to whom. What about you? I can declare war on you, although we have a truce, so that's probably not a good idea. But there's definitely some targets around, you know? There's, there's some things that we can take advantage of. Will not escape me this time. It would be really nice if we could change that law. My son, my son, my brother, my brother, my kinsman, my cousin. This is just a random kinsman in there. Um, yeah, that's a war declaration. I'd love to be able to, to change that. Primary title. As pro Holder has... Primary title has the law imperial administration. So you basically have to be an emperor. Religious control mandate regulated inheritance. Not really an awful lot that I can do about that, to be honest. I mean, we could form an empire, but we need another kingdom. Uh, we don't want to be craven. Stay put and fight. When we're a lunatic. During your hunt, you come to a deep gorge. Right on the other side is the white tiger staring at you. You are so close yet you cannot reach it. So, I have... I did have a lover. I don't have a lover anymore now. What happened to her then? She's still there. That's my steward. I'm sure she's the one I had a tumble with. Are you actually married? You are married. Actually married to my spy master. How weird is that? Um, 
He won't last long anyway, though, will he? Uh -huh. Because our spy masters always end up getting killed. So yeah, we can create a second kingdom, but I think you need three kingdoms to form a... Um... I think you need three kingdoms to form an empire. Uh, what would it be under? Be under decisions list. Form a new empire. It requires a thousand gold. Um, prestige equal to or greater than eight thousand. Holy crap! Um, realm size is greater or equal to one hundred eighty. It isn't. Or holds three kingdom titles. So we basically need uh, uh, eight thousand prestige. A thousand gold. And three kingdom titles. We have two kingdom titles. Well, we don't. We only have one, but we could form this kingdom here if we wanted to, just to do that. But yeah, our, our realm size is... Actually, our realm size is just the realm size there, isn't it? The realm size is 122. So we're not massively away from that. We just lack the money and the prestige. And we are still relatively young. We're 47. It might be possible to get that amount of prestige. So it's something that we'll certainly keep our eye on. We might be able to do it. But we've also got to save... save well, saving up the thousand gold is probably the easiest thing out of all of those. Um, random acquaintance has died. Don't care about that too much. Um, who is that we've lost? That was our court chaplain. Let's get another one. And we're going to get you to proselytize. Uh, let's try this province. We're, just, we're having really bad luck managing to get the proselytization done down here. The border gore is starting to sort itself out. Oh, our dog died. What a shame. Um, bury him quietly in the castle garden. Wish the lunatic trait would go away. I mean, it's not like... I don't know why we've got the lunatic trait. Everything seems to be going quite well. Our wife has died. That's not good. It's going to be tricky finding a new one. Now we're a lunatic. Um, you've got smallpox. You're depressed, wrath, and proud. Does any of them have good stewardship? You're not too bad. You're homosexual, but that's fine. You've got good stewardship as well. You're stubborn, but you're charitable and Midas touched. Sure. There's a bit of prestige for that, but... That's fine. Accept your suggestion. So we get a new wife, no longer over the domain limit. Uh, loyal servants such as I, this is a random vassal, surely deserve some kind of recognition. It's widely known that you hold huge lands and many titles. Um, don't you already hold stuff? You're a powerful vassal. Consider granting this humble servant... Right, you want Nandagari, do you? So, are you the one that hold? You hold, like, all of this. You shouldn't be holding that either, because that's in a different duchy. Which is just annoying. Um, but you want what now? You want that province there, which is part of my capital duchy. How about you go and do one? Um, I'd be happy to grant you the reward, but... Yeah, no. It's in my capital duchy. I'm not going to start giving province, provinces away in the capital duchy, duchy. She's actually... Yeah, she's like one of my most powerful vassals at the moment. It's a little bit weird that she's trying to do that. We can shut the gates. We don't really need to. So we know we can create a title. We've got some weak claims that we can press. The problem is at the moment... Uh, you're revolting from your liege. Yeah, we can't do this anyway, though, because we've still got um, non-aggression pact. So, what's glitching out there? Typical paradox style. Um, I mean, we can always hope that we actually gain some provinces. We can always get hope that we actually gain some provinces from our um, vassals going to war. Now then. You are going to be a bit of a problem. You do appear to have... Um, I thought I saw something there that... Uh, oh, you've got smallpox in the province. But yeah, you haven't got it yourself because you're in my dungeon. We probably really need to get rid of you. Because you're a bit of a pain. 
don't have much of a chance of killing you off, unfortunately. I mean, why? You're in you're in my, my own dungeon. That should be relatively straightforward to do, surely. Um well that's a lot of gold. Yeah, we'll we'll take a pass on that one. Sure we can find some people who we could send a more reasonable gift to. No one wants to get involved with this, do they? One person. Oh, no, there's a few more there. There's a few more than you think. Are we auto-saving? Yeah, I wonder why everything had just suddenly, like, ground to a halt. Um, no, it's not even letting me click on stuff now. Excellent. Intrigue. Right. This thing. Let's go back down to the bottom where these more reasonable ones were. Send a gift. 24, 23 ducats, so we can manage that. 31, I'll even accept that. We are... Are we over 100? You don't even need 100 for it to fire. You can be, be you can be less than 100 plot power, and it'll still fire. There we go, up to 170. So we might be able to get rid of him. So that should be fine. So let's keep our eyes on what's going on up here. We might grab some stuff. You're still glitching out, which is very annoying. It's upsetting me greatly. Um... But yeah, we, we've we've got a strong start down here. I mean, we've we, we are doing quite well. Um, spend some gold for some prestige. Well, yeah, sure, it'll increase prosperity, and it's easier for us to get gold than it is for us to get prestige. So let's do that. We've got a daughter. That's fine. So yeah, you're losing this one pretty badly. Um. But I don't think that's a war that we're... In. Actually, we are involved in that. You're involved in it. Um, war score is 72% in favour of Rajda da Danamava the Fat. So that's you. So the war's going in your favour. There's his army there. So we may well end up... Do we even know what the war is for? In the... Palava subjugation war. So you're actually trying to sub subjugate him. Okay, that's fine. This will be quite good if that works out. So if only we could get our prestige up a little bit quicker. I'm not going to spend any money for a while. We'll see what we can get. It'd be quite excellent if we could get the immortality event and actually get through it this time. Because staying immortal would actually be quite good. It's an easier way to get a lot of extra prestige. And despite the fact that this guy's a lunatic, he's got relatively decent stats. I mean, 20 martial is quite good. And we've got a lot of extra... Um, you can really m amass a lot of extra stuff uh, when you're immortal. So we're almost up to 1,000 gold already. So that's a very good start for us. Um, are we bothered about this? This is our vassal. Uh, it's just usurping titles, which is fine. Uh, this is our son, finishes education, is grey eminence, excellent. Uh, did we just grab some stuff actually up here? We've just, we've just grabbed something, haven't we? We didn't have all this before, I don't think. I'm not even sure what's going on. All I can, we, We're gaining stuff automatically, this is good. Our vassals are doing the work for us, this is fine. This is one of the things I dislike about Crusader Kings 2 compared to EU4. It's always a lot easier to tell what's going on on the map on EU4 than it is on CK2. So we could go ahead and decline this. What would be the downsides of declining? I think we just decline it, actually. We decline that marriage. No, we're going to decline. This is our daughter. Can, can we... Can we cancel this off? Can we get her to marry somebody else? Arrange marriage with... Is there nobody else that she can marry? I'm trying to just see if we can cancel the, 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 the marriage, is what I want to do. Pay a little bit of gold for a bit of prestige. There we go, the realm prospers. No, we want to ignore this, but we don't want to disable it. I want to just... No, decline. Dismiss for now, disable. Just dismiss it for now. How many times do we have to decline this before he gets the hint? Do 
You're just going to keep asking. What's the point in having the option to decline? Decline. No, he's still asking. We've lost our steward. What happened to her? She died. Died of... Uh, died of cancer. Okay, so we can take this guy. He's not a bad steward, actually. So let's go ahead and have you stewarding down here. Right. I'm just going to kill you off. Because you're annoying me. No, we don't really have the plot power. Fine, let's just accept, make it go away. I was hoping that we could not have the marriage and then we could get away with not having the non-aggression pact, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen for us. Right, what about you? Yeah, it's still got a non-aggression pact with you. Pick an ambition, see the realm prosper. It's the only option we've got. So let's go and see where we can... Right, we can't attack you. You, we can attack... Oh, you're a new guy now. Hello, new guy. Oh, no, you're not. You're all the same guy, but you've now shaved your hair off. You've just you've just grown up. So, yeah, we do still have a truce with you, so we can't attack you. Ah, no fingers will be pointed my way. Excellent. That makes life a little bit easier, because that guy was a bit of a pain. Surely you should have won this bat this war by now. It's 100% in your favour. There we go. Ah, you see, that didn't work. That If you won the war... Why did we just suddenly lose all of that? That doesn't make sense. Ah, right, so I can declare war on you. So, can we just get a subjugation war on the whole thing? Yeah, I think we just go for a sub subjugation war. Because that was a little bit cheeky, you doing that. Declare war. Yeah, we want a subjugation war. On the whole thing. So, let's make sure we're paused. Let's go and raise all the levies. Um... You guys get over here. All of you guys go and form up here. We should have the numbers here easily. This shouldn't be a big problem. Um, we got a chance of becoming brawny here. We didn't get it, unfortunately. We won't give up. I shall have my lands back, thank you very much. More crusades. Right, you guys get down here. Vassal levies to raise too long. Let's send elephants. Army starting to come in down this way. That's fine. We will meet up with their armies. Um, looks like our marshal screwed up a little bit. It's going to hurt our levy reinforcement rates, but nothing too terrible. Right, the whole army is together. Group them all up. Let us lead the centre. Let's have the people with decent marshal leading. Well, decent-ish. Decent-ish, Marshall. Um, and let's just go... Let's just go straight for the face and, and attack that army. Also, who are you at war with? You're at war with this guy as well. Not too sure why. Oh, it would have been nice if we'd have just caught the guy straight up there and ended that war instantly. Uh, we've gained Roth. Roth's actually quite good. It's an extra three marshal. It does hurt our diplomacy a little bit, but wow. I mean, our marshal's 23 now. That's just crazy. Um, my commander was cornered and slain by the enemy on the battlefield. That's fine. Did we just, did we just stack right their army? Because I can't see their army anymore. 
And we just got their entire army. So let's just go and siege the capital province down. So this is actually a kingdom at the moment. Yeah, he's completely disbanded his levies. He's trying to re-raise them now, but we should have enough time to grab something over here. He's still trying to get an army together. We've got 74%. We've probably got enough time to stand here and get another um, another siege going. Right, there we go. We've got that. Let's march in. He's probably going to pause the move. No, he didn't, actually. Let's go down here and just attack. Okay, we're on 80. Wow, we've stat wiped them again. Why is his army so weak? I mean, I know I've got massive numbers, but wow. So let's just go and siege everything down. Shouldn't take us too long to get to 100% at this rate. There's a lot of rubbish going on down here, but as long as the stuff stays within my realm. The problem that you tend to have, and this is how this is what you do as a player when you start as a, a low-level count or a duke, is you tend to attack the other counts and dukes so that you become really strong, strong enough to actually rise up against your liege. So as a player, when you're a king or an emperor, you always want to try and keep your vassals as small as you can. Emperor's on the on the march. Right, let's go over here. We're on 87% now. He is still moving around with his army. I'm not terribly convinced he's yeah, Aquitaine in the crusade. I'm not terribly convinced that you're going to be able to do anything. You're trying to unseige that. We'll go over there and deal with that as soon as we've got this siege done. So we should have plenty of time to get that involved. 89%, right. Um, reports have reached to traders and travellers being harassed by raiders. Send my marshal to hunt them down. Especially because of the useless thing that he did before. Truces are expiring. Righteous imprisonment on my marshal because he's a lazy git. Uh, we're not going to imprison him, though. Um, Organised soldiers to take care of the raiders. We'll pay for it. We'll pay for the raiders to be taken care of. We're on 88%. Let's get rid of this army. There we go. They didn't get a chance. 86%. How are we losing... How are we winning battles and losing percentage? 85%. How does that work, exactly? How are we actually losing percentage? You are sitting on the floor in your bedchamber wearing one of your shoes as a hat when suddenly a man-sized gopher enters the room. It is dressed as a maid and when you shout in alarm, the rodent squeaks and skitters away in a panic. You chase it down the hall but find only a terrified maid cowering on the floor. Lose 20 prestige. Because unfortunately, we're a bit of a lunatic. 87%. Can we please... Get some more war score over here. Why is he going so slowly? What's going on? We have another unlanded sun. Okay. Let's keep grabbing what we can. We're at 87% now. They don't have anything of mine, do they? No. Because I'm only in this one war. We've got that. Let's go over here. Ah, there we go. We've just taken some stuff over there. Excellent. Got another daughter. They've got an army there which we need to go and stamp on. Right, let's go ahead and siege this out. It's a, a ducal capital, so it should be a bit quicker. So we're on 87%. We, we're lacking a commander over here. All game of cowboys. There's literally, every one of these commanders is a game of cowboy. Um... 100%. Excellent. That's what we wanted. So, pause up, offer peace, and enforce demands. So, this kingdom is now a subject of ours. If we look at this. So, you are still a king. But you are subjugated to us. Or at least you should be. I look on mine, my vassals, relation, no, is it vassals? Why can't I see you? Did we not just win that subjugation war? We will get the stuff back at some point. We will get it back. Let's go and disband the levies. Keep the retinues. 
resign the commanders. Send you guys back home. We are gaining stuff. We've gained a bit more land over here. And we will be able to go and attack this stuff later on. Um, who is your heir? The wife is my kinswoman. I mean, we could just we could just try and kill the guy off, and eventually have it all come back around to us. Although we'd be better off, we would be better off if we. Yeah, because it would need to go to you first. So maybe we do just straight up want to try and get rid of you. How much plot power can we get? Probably nowhere near enough. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can. Well, we're over the 20 minute mark, so we'll consider that for a, another episode. We've gained some stuff, we've lost some stuff, but I think it's been a net gain overall. Uh, yeah, because we were at 122 realm size, we're now at 123. So, despite losing a few provinces down here, we have actually gained more than we've lost. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Crusader Kings 2. Once again, a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, Gamer Cowboy, for sponsoring this entire series. And I will see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.